this one here. Mm -hmm. What other clues could you use? This one first. <laughs> you see how you can judge this better? Yeah. Now, now take some off. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, you see, you already know what to do. Yeah. I don't know, I've got to tell you now. Okay, Reese. I have got the pedals here, as you know. I will use them if I need to, but if I don't, I won't. Okay. I will check my mirrors before I give you directions today, just to make sure it's safe for you to carry out what you need to do. Okay. If you're unsure about anything, though, you need to ask me. Yeah, I would have. All right. My sheet here is consists of MSPSL, Mirror Signal Position, Speed and Look. When I give you the instructions, I'll be watching for your mirrors, I'll be looking for your signal timing, I'll be looking at where you position, when you position, I'll be feeling when you start braking, how you start braking, how it relates to the gears, coasting, clutch timing, etc. Yeah. How you're observing and what your judgment's like, timing of gears, as we said, steering method, and whether that affects your control. So just give you a rough idea, so you can help yourself by going through your MSPSL in your head as you approach junctions and yeah. stuff. You may or may not be already. I know it's been some time, so mm. how are you feeling about this drive? Are you feeling confident or? I am, yeah, but it's just, obviously I've not drove this car in a while, so it might take me some time getting used to the clutch again or. Brilliant. Take your time then with that. Okay. We would not expect you to be ex come across as an experienced driver. Do you remember about the handbrake and the way it works, the parking brake electronic? Yeah, you, you get, get the bite point on the clutch and it releases the parking brake. Yeah, just before you get to the bite point, mm. it releases. Don't know if my arm's too far away. Yeah, that seems alright, doesn't it? How will you know if your arms are too far away? It'll be a stretch. It'll be a stretch, so how would you normally hold the wheel? Have you got your seat in the correct place? I feel, I feel like I have. It looks perfect to me. Slight bend on the left mm. knee. You're pressing the pedal with the ball of your foot uh, in the correct place on the pedal. Yeah, yeah your arms are almost straight. Your back rake, okay. You're sporting oh, enough. Because if that needs to go up, that'll bring you forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then check. Yeah, it's better. The bend yeah. looks not uncomfortable now, but it's how it feels for you. Because you can always bring the steering wheel out towards you. All right, Rick, so over to you. So it's sort of creating like a glare, isn't it? It's yeah. making it quite difficult. Cars are quite shadowy. Mm. Could we put our dipped headlights on to make ourselves stand out more from parked cars? Mm, we'll, we'll go yeah. over it in a bit. I'm going to turn left, please, at the roundabout, thanks. So far, I just say when you move off from the side of the road, Reese. Yeah. Um, I think some of the feedback I can give to you while we're on the move. Yeah. yeah uh, as long as it's not too comprehensive, you know. Mm -hmm. But when we moved off, make sure your obs are fresh and up to date. I don't think you had another blind spot check to your right before you moved off. No, I don't think I did. No. Uh, I just make sure they're up to date. I know there's a thing of bringing the clutch up, making the wheels move, and when you've done them last check, just bring them closer together. Okay. So that it doesn't change from when you'd last checked okay roundabout looking really good and your MSPSL approaching so good stuff there so far Thank you. remember your mirrors for round park cars I think they could have been a bit sharper when we yeah. on that side street yeah changing direction mirrors in pairs and all that yeah any questions let me know Speed limit wise, when there's no signs, it's just 30, isn't it? Correct. Yeah, if, that's what I was wondering. Because some cars go quicker, so I don't know. At the roundabout, 
we're going to go ahead and see second exit. Signal mirror maneuver. I did signal mirror maneuver, didn't I? Or should it be? 
talk about why in a bit. And the roundabout, could you go ahead, second exit for Long Eaton, please? It has 
has to be specified with repeaters. Because sometimes you go down a road like this and it's actually 30. And if you've ever recalled as well, in, in anybody local, Snellsmore Lane, there's parts of that road. Is there? Yeah, there's parts of that road that's 40. That's when the street lights start coming back, for example. Your road position at the moment. Too far to the right. It was. What's the risk? Uh, large vehicle could come by. Yeah. Or oh, bump in the road can make you uh, kind of twist the steering a little bit. And if you do go right and you're already right, what's the problem? You could, you could swerve into a car on the other yeah. See that these was a steady and eddy way back. Yeah. yeah. Ease off then, Reese. You've changed your gear and you're back on the gas. Ease off. Stay off. Let a gap develop and then resume the speed that you were travelling at before. Otherwise, these are so softy, softy on the off and on the gas. They're like you're going to are you going to keep braking because yeah. they're going to go slower than you're expecting. Got You can see. Fuel. Sorry. You're going to use more fuel that way. Aren't you? you are. So it's not driving economically. Uh, it's not great planning, so yeah. See how they've eased off there, they're not yeah. even braking. They're very soft with the controls, but a bit on the slow side with it as well. Probably overreacting a little bit. Back there anyway, not here. Um, it's gone to failure again here, hasn't it? Yeah. Big steers like that, Reese. You th you're throwing it on, you're not coming and feeling it as you go, you're just guessing, guessing. Mm. At, the, at the speed you're rolling in at, yeah, that's, 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 that's. Let me show you how you should have come in. Can I take yeah. over with the pedals here? I'll just take over from this side. Okay. Um, steer right, I'll be your eyes okay. and your ears here. I want you to look at what difference the speed is through my clutch control and my speed, and I'll guide you with your steering as well. I'll be your eyes and ears in terms of whether we should move or whether we should stop. Thank you. Take some of that steer off. I was fearful that the left tire could hit the kerb. Okay. Now steer right. Now that we've gained some distance, not too much, Reese. Okay. You do right. it small and gradual as you're peeling away from the kerb, alright? Okay. Too big and the car's going to go all the way over where it wouldn't do usually and the, the tyre could hit and scrape and rub against the kerb, damage okay. the steering, cosmetics of your wheels, rip the tyre wall as well sometimes, you know. Yeah. I've got uh, special protectors on which do help. If you're interested in the protectors, they are in the link below. So Reese, could you now steer left? Get us into a driving position. All right, now straighten us up. <coughs> That's it. Right. So here we were driving down. I know we're a bit closer to the dam than you were. Right. So you'd be coming down, 
and I want you to stay straight. Don't mm -hmm. steer right, no need to. Stay straight. Mm -hmm. Now start to steer left. Look down here. Uh, try and have your hat so you're not, because that's the problem now, you're doing this or this. Mm -hmm. You need to be the push and pull method, really. Okay. So steer left with your left hand, because you're steering left, left hand higher. Right. Uh, steer with both hands, not just with one. Mm -hmm. because then you can pass the left steer through and then take off with the right, so okay, it's quite yeah. efficient. So steer and left. Yes, it's a hand symmetrical. Okay. Right, now look look here, don't look in that mirror, whatever you do, it's okay. pointless. Now start steering right at the same rate in which you steer. See how you can judge this better? Yeah. Now, now take some off. You see that? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you see, you already know what to do. Yeah. I know, I've got to tell you now. Now back to the left. A bit more. And now back to the right. And now back to the left. And back to the right. And straighten. You know what I mean? Like, so I know we're not got a massive space to come into, but you're going to be much, and that's not, it's still not great actually with the, uh, with the gap. But I think it's a lot more controlled than what you were. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be going over that. So you just steer left for us. I'll be your eyes and ears again, it's not clear. And, oh, keep that left on. Keep the left on. Keep it on. Keep it on. Now steer right. Okay, go forward, straighten up. Straighten up, steer left. Now take off. Thank you very much. All right, race. So, um. We'll see, I've not really asked you to pull in too much yet, and that was an awkward one. That's when you've got a limited space, and it is awkward, so the best thing to do is slow down when you're level with the car so that you can steer in early doors to come past it. Does that make sense? So otherwise, you're traveling half way past before you even get a chance to steer in, so you're traveling yeah. that quick. I've gone I've got in way too quick, one not I? Mm -hmm. And um, now you don't need to be, because your vision swapped from being very short-sighted, like, oh, I've passed it, to, oh, that one down there. Mm. So that was quite good. Well, I was too focused on the bays to look at any other spot. So, right. Because I didn't know where the bays ended. Because the glare in the road. I was just like, yeah. I, I couldn't see the road markings. So I was just like, right. So, if you're struggling to see, what should you do with your speed? Slow it right down. Slow it down, yeah. Okay. So, quick pull in. We're going to assess and discuss what we went over. Was there anything that you didn't understand based on the feedback? No, I get all the feedback. Obviously, there was just that point where the gear, I just. Yeah. And I lost my head a bit with it. Let's go over it now. I mean, if you look forward for me now, mm -hmm. pop it into gear three without looking. Is three forwards or backwards? Oh, it's forwards. That's four. Let's see. That's four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no worries. Um, sorry. And if you want to pop into gear two from gear three, and let's try and do it the way that we should have done it, thinking about the... The three step. Yeah. So one, two, three. Fantastic. Do you think you could do that on the move? Because you've not looked there, you've felt your way through, you've counted one, two, three. It'd be like you do your roundabout exit, so you get them right. Yeah, okay. I, well, I did it I did it after that. I, I made sure that it was the three step, that I popped awesome. it back in the middle. Like just like one movement or two movement as such. Are you confident with that now going forward? Oh yeah. yeah. And what's the, what's the what's the danger in going into gear four when you should be going into gear two? You're gonna lift the clutch up, and what's gonna happen? The car will stall. It's gonna stall, yeah. Are you okay with a six point check this time when we move off? Yeah. So mirror, 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 blind spot. You Which check, you check that blind spot first, don't you? Then that, uh, and then you recheck. I think before you move off, you need a general awareness to what's around you in the first place. If you start checking from this side, this blind spot, right? Work your way around that side last and look out the front. Just make sure you check your centre and right mirror early. I would generally look last the, the way that you're about to steer. Okay, so look last over here, start over there. Mm. Okay. It's like if you're reversing, I normally start that way because I'm looking this way when I'm reversing over my left shoulder back window. Ah, okay. So that's why I start that way and I finish that way. Yeah. Turning in gears, clutch being up a little bit earlier, you've shown me that you can do it when it really counts. Yeah. You just, I think you just need to know that it's a thing. Finish the braking and have the clutch up by the time you turn. Yeah, I, need, I just need to 
get my speed down quicker. Pull up on the clutch instead of coasting. And the reason you don't pull up on your clutch sometimes might be because you feel that you haven't braked enough, so you're going to just wait a bit till the car slowed down a bit more. But, but make the car slow down sooner through using the foot brake a bit more. Okay. So you can make sure it is up yeah. before the point of turn. Side glance. Why do we need a side glance when we change lanes and not a blind spot check? Because it could be a car, a motorbike, which you can't see in the mirror. Just beyond our peripheral, isn't it? So there's a, just that spot where a car could have been sitting for a short while. It could have come off the roundabout with you. And it just could have been sitting in the same spot the whole time. So to make sure 100%. There's nothing there, yeah. so it's safe to go on. That's it. Okay, that's fine. And, and the other thing, why do we check? So this is... I said I'd ask you about mirror signal manoeuvre, why we do that and why we don't do signal mirror manoeuvre. Why do we do mirror signal manoeuvre, Reese? It's a shortened version, by the way, of MSPSL. MSPSL is the same thing, but it goes into more detail. It breaks down the position, the speed of the observation. You look first, then you'll signal, because if you just signal, then look. Oh, there might be a car, or, or there might be nothing to signal to. A lot of people are not gonna know this, and um, I think, so that we know, you know, we don't check the mirrors first so we know what's behind us. It's simply not enough information. Mm. We're checking the mirror for a reason because we want to know if there's anything behind or at the sides. Remember, we're checking the mirrors in pairs. Centre always first. What's behind? Is there anything behind? How close? And do I need to give a signal earlier? Oh, okay, so it's for the timing of the signal. Really. Yes. Because if I give a signal earlier, it gives them longer to react to my intentions. On the drive back, I'll let you know if any of these bits change. If, mm -hmm. if, you, if you're not doing any of these bits, let me know if you're unsure. Yeah. If you've got any questions, ask. Use it as an opportunity to learn, of course. I'm not expecting it to be completely independent. I'll help you with the hazard routine. Okay. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. So like there, been a while since you check the actual blind spot. Mm -hmm. so just I update. To go in. It's going to be left at the end of the road. Okay, so. This way, race. This way. Oh, that's no entry there. Look. You oh, see okay. those signs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's left at the end. Of so the your end. left side of the road. You just follow the left side of the road, isn't it? Really, by standard, yeah, generally yeah, speaking. Yeah. Um, I want you to go straight ahead at these uh, at the crossroad here. Do I want to signal right? No. We just want to go straight. Because I think that would look more like you're going to turn that way. Yeah. Mm. And if you signal left, it's like you're going that way. I think really your road position is the strongest form of intention. The strongest form of showing your intentions and the fact you're not signaling. Mm. What are you expecting here, Reese? Check your middle mirror. It's a hazard look. You expect someone to come over, start braking a bit. Check your left mirror for your space on the left. I'm going to give you a bit more guidance because a bit of a, a bit more of an unorthodox situation. Yeah. Gear two, clutch up. Gear three is going to be pulling us a bit quick. Okay, check your middle and your right mirror. Don't speed up till it's safe to, though. Okay. Okay, safe to. Because they're off the road. And there's nothing overtaking us? No. Be careful you don't splash these people, Reese. Yeah, that'll be a bit. <laughs> yeah. Just catch the speed limit back on the, on the road. National. So before we speed up, centre mirror, right mirror, there's nothing overtaking us. Those people could step out, but they look like they're not, don't they, really? Yeah. The dog's on a lead, yes? Yep. Okay. Cars are in our side of the road. Check your middle mirror. They've gone back middle mirror. The middle one's your first, you know, your first reference all the time, not, not to your door mirrors. Okay. There's a bend coming up. We're not going to change speed yet. Keep speeding up at the minute. And actually, we're not going to change speed. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother to keep focusing on where you're going. Yeah. You will be easing off before the next bend, though. Yeah, Keep your speed up for now. It's a bit slow, to be honest. Check your middle mirror, ease off until you can see. Check your middle right mirror, speed back up. Same again for the next one. And we tend to accelerate out of these corners. It's becoming in control. Which is better. Blind, um, like a hill. Want to ease off? 
So we'll that's it, middle mirror, right mirror. Let's see over there. That's fine. We've got an upside down triangle, what does that tell you? Uh, it means there's a junction coming up in 150 yards. We'll be turning left there. Left at the junction, okay. Yeah. So, that's it. How many car lengths did you signal? Did you time it in the race or did you just chuck them on? Uh, I didn't really time it as so. Right, I need a bit more, you be a bit more methodical with that. And also, if we're steering left, Reese, this right arm should be steering left. Yeah. If the airbag goes off and your arm's over this this section, I'm just going to throw it into your face. What's the, your arm going to do to your nose? Probably, probably break it. Okay. How fast does the airbag come out? I don't know. Very. Is it? It's got to, isn't it, in the event of an impact? Oh, yeah, it's got to be instant, so. So, I'm going to try and just focus on the hazards for now. So, a bit quicker here, Reese. It's not quite quick enough. This isn't. We're going to be overtook if we're not careful. The reason that we should be going faster is it's wide, it's visible, the conditions are good. Slightly, slightly moist on the floor, yeah? Mm -hmm. I didn't. Hazard coming up, check middle mirror. Yeah. Still national from the old road. We need to be keeping up with yeah. it a bit more. Oh, okay. Middle mirror. Off gas, start braking. Middle and right mirror, if you're going to speed up. There's no point because there's another bend. Well done, so this is good. So the car behind it's starting to get closer. So we could start factoring that into how we slow down potentially. Yeah. No, it's going back. So, so what mirrors are you going to check because we've got the countdown it's coming up? Right. And is the car behind responded holding those brake lights on, Reese, the whole way? 200 yards. Don't break too hard because you yeah. you'll be too slow too early. Yeah, can't be on Stay on them brakes, Reese. Because the 30's coming in. Take the next road on the right, please. Do you feel yourself lift off your brakes and slightly quick here? Yeah. Keep on the brakes, don't come off them. Okay. Before you speed up, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that all right? Yeah. What about if someone was overtaking us then? Would you have known before no. you sped up? Right. What about this van? Do you need to know before you steer around this van? Yeah. What do you need to know? Well done. Is there cars or cyclists, anything coming to the That's it. Area. And before you do any steering to the left, what do you need to know? Centre. Uh, go back in. Yeah. In case there's anyone behind that car or... That's the one. You got it. Right, I really need you to focus on this. So we, can, we get this in and then we can focus more on the other stuff. Okay. It just so happens your hazard routine is all the time. Well done. We're going to be turning left. My instruction was slightly late on the last junction. Apologies for that. That's fine. How many car lengths are you going to signal for this junction? About eight. So let's be around now. Is there a. That's probably about 15, Reese. Do you think? It looks like you're going in the last driveway. Yeah, yeah. It's around here, isn't it? Yeah, well, the red car, I think. I'd come past the. Yeah. Remember that distance you showed me? It wasn't very big, was it? No. No way. It was double what you've just signalled at. So it's national here, yeah, so we don't want to come out. Take your time when you change your gears, you know, with your hand, with the method with your hand. Yeah. And make sure you're off the gas during the gear changes. That's it, keeping up to date as you're speeding up. What's changing on the road around me? If there's a car that comes to that slip road, check your mirrors. Okay, check your mirrors. Yep. Can we move if we need to? Should we signal? Signal right, let him know. That's it, start changing, keep speed going. We don't have to do that, do we? No. But you see, the thing is there, they might not stop there for you, you know? So yeah. you need to make those provisions anyway. Because they may have pulled out from... I see them do it regularly. Great job with the side glance. Could we keep the signal on so we completed the manoeuvre? Yeah. If you cancel it like when you're level with the middle of the road, what might people think? You're going to stay in that lane. Yeah, maybe. Might be a thing to change your mind. From a distance and keep speeding up towards you, maybe. So, that car's just pulled out. Mirrors. Yeah. Signal. Because we could be doing 70 here, could we? We could be making more progress. 
certainly back there, but looking forward, what's the uh, prediction? 50. Before we come off the gas, what do we need to know? What's behind yeah. and how close? To all the take these, what would it mean with the speed limit? Yeah, we're going way too fast. Yeah, yeah. speed limit. Don't change the gear, stay no. in gear five. No. Stay in gear five. Just to come off the gas race, come off the gas. Now, you look at the silver one, he's slowing down a load. Okay, now you can do 50 and pass him. Okay. They're too slow, too early here, aren't they? That's what I didn't want for you earlier. Okay. So you might as well do, and then we've got the other speed limit. Which is 40, so check the mirror behind. So, yeah, check middle and left mirror, so I want you to come back in on the left. Come centre of your lane. That's probably why they're hanging on their left. So, what, what yeah. back into the left. That's good. Okay, the single on. Move your fingers away from it. Now cancel. Okay. So it's a new level of discipline with that. Yeah, yeah. You're doing good here. Every time they ease off, you're easing off from your gas too. Mm. Responding really well. So what are we thinking about that slip round? How could that affect us and what do we need to know? We could either begin to slow down or change lanes. So you need to check, don't you? In case something does appear, mm -hmm. you need to check your centre mirror and mm -hmm. your right mirror because it's a hazard. Yeah. Is it a developing one? Well, no, not at the moment. No. But it could could do. Yeah. So you need to check anyway, so you'd click anyway, wouldn't you? If it was a you, you hazard perception. Yeah. Um, if there's a car there anyway. bit of a talk through with your hazard routine. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to check the centre right now because I just come from a hazard. Right. So, because of the uh, merging lane. Okay. Tell me about your speed limit. Oh, I'm going about going 40, 45, which should be 40. So, might be a hazard coming up here. Right. Lane, someone might try and be cutting in from the lane I'm in. That might be out from these. If you check yeah. your escape lane, if you needed yeah, to escape, so could you? Because you yeah. to, that's why sometimes, like the centre isn't enough. It's like, yes, okay, look behind us, but can we steer away from the danger? Yeah, or not? Or do we need to brake? Okay. Or do we have to emergency stop? You know, yeah. it's got a couple of options if you're thinking about it early enough. Does that make sense? Yeah. Time in there, and when I said he's off the brake, not off completely, I probably could have been okay. clear. Ah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't let the brake go when you, you're coming up, but, but what that does is it, it, you can choose a better gear at the most appropriate time because okay. you haven't made the car rumble too early. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does make sense. Could these lights change? Yeah, so what do you need to know? I need to be prepared. So, center mirror. Center, right. So that's your anticipation. I'm expecting this to happen. Okay, so what if? What will I need to do if that's the case? Are you What's going to be speeding up at this 40? Not really, because of the cars in 
front but, of me. But as you go forward, the other people, things around you will yeah. as well. So should you check centre right, everything's going to change around you, isn't it, at that point? Yeah. They're starting to come. Yes. Could they come in front of us? Uh, if so, yeah. we'll start easing off net, you know, things like that. Check your middle mirror, anything gained on us there. And it is, isn't it? That speed yeah. change now. We've got the Peugeot behind us. Don't really want to speed up too much. Leave yourself a big enough gap in it between the car and front. Yeah. Because they're all really, really, really close together. So do you anticipate any hazards, any slowing down for you looking ahead? Um, cars, car could merge into this lane. Yeah. So what did that prompt you to check? The right mirror. Okay. Centre, centre and right. Yeah. And here there's, there might be a car merging from. We're going to get to the left lane. left lane when it's yeah. safe, okay? So, centre then. What about that signal then, tell me? I signalled as I did it. Oh, okay. So. And would that warn somebody in advance? No, or? because as I'm doing it, how many flashes ideally before you start to steer the steering wheel left into the lane change? How many flashes would be ideal? Flashes of the indicator before you, yeah, because there's that sort of the people see, isn't it? They see the indicator flash, flash, flash from the outside. About four, five, three. I think people can start getting a bit fed up. Then they start closing the gap and speed up. I think two or three. Two or three. So okay. flash, flash, start to change lanes. Because I did it as as I was turning then. Yeah. I did the checks and signal and all that all, all in one. Kind of. Yeah, um, yeah, you did. Well spotted. Check for bikes, check for mopeds. They could close up and come yeah. round us. Could you position just slightly left maybe as we go forward just in case it needs to get through it? Yeah. I wouldn't stop here. Nah. Is it coming our way? No, it went went the other way. I'll just see how already sort of making provisions, thinking what routes it gonna take, what lanes it's gonna choose. Yeah. Well, often there's no need to go on curbs if you create space in advance, you know. So have you checked your middle mirror before you slowed down here and your right mirror on that one? I know I checked my right. So you've got to be middle first. So yeah. I think let's really focus on the hazard routine for the next because we've got lots of stop start going on. Mm -hmm. They just turn green. So these are going to turn when green. When these do turn green, yeah, they might be turning back red. So we're anticipating that already. These people could cross. Mm -hmm. So hazard routine before we speed up. Anything on the left side, left mirror. Okay. That's fine. I need a quick check. Not look, looking for prolonged periods. These could cross middle mirror. Just check the car behind in case you do need to touch the brakes. Sometimes if you've not got time and you need to keep your eyes on the road, it might be better just centre. Again, it's like yeah. I said at the beginning, use a bit of common sense sometimes. Yeah. Especially if you're not doing any steering as such, you, you can just um, use the centre central mirror. We're going ahead at the roundabout. It's the third exit. You could use it, describe it as a right turn as well sometimes. So. It's labelled as a head on the road, so yeah. it implies sort of not to signal right, I guess. I know in that lane you have to merge if you're going on the third exit, yeah. so it just... And sometimes they turn and block up that right side of the merge, don't they, there? So I always, I always find just being in the centre lane is... Mm. We all safe everywhere? Yeah. Yeah. So good to see a mirror, sig mirrors signal manoeuvre. Before you speed up. Cool. So you know it's safe to speed up now. There's no cyclists like him at the side here or anything. No. So you're looking down the road, you know, there's a hazard middle right mirror. So the car binds a good distance, that's great, we yeah. know that now. I can see a window here where you could overtake. Yeah, no, it's 
yeah. And before you steer, good stuff. Now, we shouldn't overtake on crossings, but we can there with those. Do you know why? This, is, this will help you with your theory. Is it because it's Take the next road right? on the left. Well done. So, remember what we said about the braking and clutching. That's a good example there, Reese. Well done. Did that feel good yeah. to you? Yeah. There was no dual That's it. going too fast yeah. or anything like that. You just, just got all the braking in when you needed it. Yeah. Turn left at the end, please. Before you speed up, what do you need to check? Center. I don't want to speed too much. Yeah, so yeah. It's in the bend. Oh, lift the clutch up too fast. <coughs> Have you sprung up on it? Yeah, I sprung up on it. Is it a concern of yours? Or? Uh, it's just sometimes I, I don't know, just bring it up too fast. I shouldn't really. Just made the car to a little bit, wanna take the next road on the left. Same again with our timing there. That's good, well done. And before we speed up, what do we need Center to know? Right. Good. And take the next road on the right. Sorry about the lightness. Apologies. Sorry. That's Shouldn't right. be doing that really. What it is, don't want to pull up outside your house with double yellows. No. See what I mean? I am dropping you off, but I'm going to chat to you a bit first, so... Hey, these streets. Horrible, aren't they? Oh, I'd be okay. super slow here. Braking, clutch on the floor. Slower, slower, slower. Closer to the grey. You can manage that side better because you're closer. Yeah. Looking, 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 looking. Reese, how have you found today? Good. Yeah, do you feel like you know where you are a bit more? Yeah, I do. I know my has keeping up with my hazards, always checking the centre right. It's going to make you a better driver. Mm. It really helps with your forward planning. Yeah. All round awareness. Anything else that you found particularly useful today? Uh, the feedback as I'm driving. Yeah. I feel like that's good. When it's just normal driving, if you give me feedback whilst that, you know, I can kind of process things without getting too stressed out. So I feel like. That's what I felt, yeah. We can make more use of the time. That's cool. It's not for everyone, though. Some people have to pull in. So, thanks, Reese. And uh, we're going to keep this series going, aren't we, now, until you yeah. pass your test. If you've got any comments, drop them in the section below. Please like this video. It really, really helps. And uh, share with a friend who you think would benefit. Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.